Okay, so today we're working on a rather big vehicle, big in my micro world as it will. This is a 1978 Dodge Adventurer. Yes, it is an Adventurer. -er. It's a 200, which means it's, I don't think it's a three quarter ton. It might be, yeah, it's probably three quarter ton. It's two wheel drive, it has the 360 CID V8 and I promised to do this video uh, I got the truck running for a customer it's been off the road a long time as you can see by the last registration sticker and uh, it smoked a lot at idle and I told you that we were going to do a video on changing out the valve stem seals on the car so this is what we're doing. Um, I'll give you kind of a brief overview. First of all, you gotta have some good light and you have to have an air compressor. And you also have to leave your air compressor on because you're injecting air into the spark plug hole to keep the valves up. And right now I've got this valve spring off. You can see what the valve stem seals used to look like. They're just bits and pieces and it, this truck just smoked awful. The new valve stem seals look like, oh, they look like any other valve stem seal. They're an umbrella style. Open it up for you. Like that. Oops. And they just, oh, you don't want to drop them in the engine. You slip them over the, the stem like that and they kind of seat themselves. Now, not dropping it into the engine is a good idea. So I have this rag here and I block the oil drain back hole so that I can't drop the valve keepers or any little bits in the engine because that would be really bad. But the procedure, how this works is on this particular Dodge, you take off the whole rocker shaft assembly. You can't do that on small block Chevys or individual, but for this particular vehicle, this is a 78 Dodge 360, you then grab this tool right here and what it is it's a little valve spring compressor I have the part number and everything for you it's a 16750 on the car valve spring compressor normally it has a a cam lever arm that attaches right where the bolt is and you can just rotate this down and and compress the spring that way but being this is one of the tightest <clears throat> areas to get at between the power brake booster. <clears throat> I couldn't get that arm in there. Well, I could, but it would rip up my knuckles really bad. So I opted for the optional bolt type. So basically you just screw this bolt down. It compresses the spring, get the spring to a certain point. You pop the keepers off, the spring comes off, put the new seal on and away you go. You do the whole engine. The first one will take you an hour. I guarantee it because it's just hard to get these little tabs into the springs. It's hard to get the compressor to compress. You're gonna cuss, the valve keepers will probably be stuck, so you gotta wrap them. There's another tool here I have here. This is a performance tool. It's a slightly cheaper tool. It does sort of the same thing. It's got a twist thing on it instead of the bolt or the cam lever. But the general principle is we gotta get valve stem seals on this thing so we don't have vacuum and oil getting, vacuum on the intake pulls oil past the seal into the cylinder and the exhaust side, I guess it just drips in, but this thing was smoking like a banshee um, and it will not pass emissions that way. The guy wants to, or the owner wants to uh, get it by DEQ so he can get his tags and I don't blame him. It's gonna be tough as it is because this thing is old and original, but having valve stem seals that look like that aren't helping things at all. So we're gonna get back to work. We are on cylinder, well, I've done the passenger side bank over there already, so there was eight there, and I'm halfway through the side here on the driver's side, so I don't have much further to go, but I'm into this thing four hours already, just because it takes a while. Pre prepared. A couple of them are gonna take a long time, especially the ones back there in the back, because it's just really hard to get the tool to work. All right, I wish I could give you more advice and good luck on your project, but. Hopefully this thing will be a clean, emission-free machine, this 1978 Dodge. <laughs>
I don't know that that'll happen, but it's gonna be a lot better and the customer's gonna be so happy. And you'll be able to stand around the car when it's running because it was just puffing out smoke like crazy. Okay, wish me well and I wish you well. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.